Did you know there's an insanely powerful chat GPT feature that only a small fraction of users are even aware of and even fewer are using correctly? When done right, this feature will 10X your output and your revenue through ChatGPT. It also solves two of the biggest headaches when using ChatGPT, which are quality variability and recall errors. Meaning from now on, you will get the highest quality outputs every single time and never see annoying messages like this again. This method has taken me months to perfect and it's about to change your life. First, log into your chat GPT account, which obviously will look a little bit different than what you see here on the screen, just because I have some chats already here created. Once you're here, you wanna click on explore GPTs. This basically shows us the custom GPT section. Now, what is that? So chat GPT and the reason it is the number one AI tool overall for a lot of purposes is because it's trained on the largest data set compared to any other AI model. Now that's great because we can access a lot of, you know, human information and knowledge. However, when we're using just the regular chat GPT, like we see here, whether 3.5, 4 or whatever, our results can vary because we're pulling from all different places around the world in this database. So what's really powerful is with GPTs, you're basically able to train ChatGPT on a specific knowledge base or set of data to where it really hones in. So for example, you see here on the left side of my screen, we have, you know, email writer, uh, Tim Ferriss GPT, et cetera. So let's say I wanna use ChatGPT to write killer emails, write emails better than I can, which by the way, it does. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the best email bodies, subject line, copywriting books, et cetera, take that data, download, and create a custom GPT, which is super simple to do, and then basically trains ChatGPT on that data set, and it improves both the quality of output, the consistency of that output, and we eliminate recall errors. For example, a set of customer reviews. He said, okay, what are the most common pain points these customers have? And it's like, sorry, I'm not able to recall this information, blah, blah, blah really annoying. So that solves it because it keeps going back to that same knowledge base. This will all make sense here in a second. So what's really cool is you can create your own, but what's also awesome is you can access GPTs that other people have put their hard work into creating for free, at least for now. That might change in the future with uh, the ChatGPT uh, economy and being able to kind of sell, well, more or less sell your GPTs or get revenue sharing from them. But anyway, for now, what you can do is Scroll through, I'd recommend doing this to kind of give you an idea of what's possible with custom GPTs. So we have featured, right? Always kind of cool to see. Trending, but specifically look, we have custom GPTs created by ChatGPT themselves. So obviously DALI, pretty straightforward, you know, data analytics, creative writing, uh, plants. So if you want to like help watering your house plants, knowing what plants to buy, etc., there is a custom GPT for that. So really cool, and you can obviously search all these public GPTs, but moving down, right with Dolly specifically, general image generator, logo creator. So this is basically designed specifically for logo creation and so on, um, cartoonize yourself. So for cartoons based on your own images. And then here are some other ones, uh, not from ChatGPT, but from other creators like myself or you that you've created and made publicly available that are trending and popular. So you can create slides here, right, humanize, so if you have some like robotic corporate sounding text, enter it here in this custom GPT and it'll humanize it um, instantly. So anyway, you can keep going, it's endless. You can connect with Canva, create diagrams, etc. And these are really cool. I definitely recommend trying them out. However, in my experience, you know, I have no idea how someone has created these GPTs, you know, have they put in their full effort or they just created something, you know, that sounds flashy, but doesn't actually get results. So results here are gonna vary because you are not in control of them, somebody else is. So it's cool to test out, um, but you know you don't have control. Someone can change the knowledge base or the underlying data that these are trained on and then ultimately change the outputs. So what I'd recommend doing and what I personally do is create your own. So in the top right corner, simply click on create and you'll get to a screen that looks like this. And it's really simple. We're going to name our GPT, add a short description, instructions of what to do, what not to do, and this is the real key here is we wanna upload up to 20 files to train GPT on. And now these files can be JPEG, PNG, text files, CSV files, and PDFs. So all kinds of data, you can analyze images, analyze books, and you know, you could 
put the entire Bible in here and create your own, you know, Bible GPT, it's endless what you can do here and it's really powerful. And I'll show you some examples of what I've actually done and share them with you um, here in the description section of the video. So first naming, okay, so let's say we want to create, you know, a sales script generator, okay? So it writes our sales script, let's say writer. There we go. I'm adding a description, so what does this GPT do? So this GPT analyzes the top performing and converting sales copy in the world, and then uses that data to, you know, create the best sales copy uh, on the planet, right? I'll show you some more examples. That's basically what, this is what it does, really straightforward, instructions. Very important, because this helps guide the custom GPT into what to do and what not to do, like guardrails. So for example, let's say this GPT will analyze all data in the knowledge base first before responding. Um, this GPT will write unique copy that is not found anywhere. This GPT will avoid plagiarism. This GPT will not produce bland, boring, low converting, corporate, typical copy, etc. right? What to do, what not to do, completely dependent on what you want, but just some examples. And keep in mind, the more details, the better. Moving down here to conversation starters. I actually never really fill this in. I think it's sort of a waste, um, at least right now. The reason for this is basically you can create custom buttons. So for example, it's like, you know, write me uh, a high converting sales page, right? And you just click and then it automatically just creates you a sales page. But here's the thing, as you've followed my other videos, you need to be really specific with ChatGPT. The more information you give it, the better your outputs are going to be and the same is true here. So for example, I create these predefined buttons, but I'm basically never gonna use them. Why? Because they're very general. Like how can, you know, every time I use GPT, I'm very specific. Like, hey, I'm, you know, reach, you know, I'm re-engaging old email subscribers, uh, they're Amazon sellers, and, you know, I haven't reached out in, in a year, I'm thinking about doing this, blah, 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 right? All that data, it's very custom every single time because it needs to be to have great outputs. Um, but it depends on your purpose. If you're just like, hey, I wanna come up with, you know, YouTube video ideas or, um, you know, creative recipes like every week or whatever, and it says, you know, design a new unique creative recipe that you've never done before, you just click and it'll automatically do that for you. But I never really use this, but that's kind of how you can use conversation starters. Here for capabilities, make sure you click on code interpreter. So we have three kind of different add-ons. So by default, each custom GPT is going to analyze all of the files that you upload to the knowledge base, but then the capabilities add on to that. So number one, it's gonna analyze the knowledge in the knowledge base. Number two, as we see right here, do we want it to browse the web? I would say yes, because in certain cases, you may wanna pair you know, recent data, events, um, knowledge with what's already existing in your knowledge base and pair that together. Same thing here for image creation. You never know, maybe you wanna change this in the future and actually within Custom GPT, you can create images. So you literally say, hey, analyze, you know, let's say the 20, you know, top viral thumbnails that are in your knowledge base and create a viral, you know, YouTube, create two viral YouTube thumbnails for my channel about XYZ, okay? So I've done this before and you can do that as well. Although the outputs right now aren't the best. And then also code interpreter. This is what you wanna check because it's not checked by default. This allows you to analyze CSV files. So if you have Google Sheets or Excel, and you want to download that data and then import into your custom GPT in order for the custom GPT to analyze that, you need to have code interpreter selected. But with that being said, as of right now, the making of this video, which could change literally tomorrow, and I believe it will in the near future, I found that custom GPTs and chat GPT overall is a bit glitchy when it comes to analyzing and pulling data from CSV files, at least for now. So in my experience, the type of files you wanna include into your knowledge base the best that i found so far are PDFs and then JPEG or PNGs basically for images. So if you have text, you can download as PDF. If it's a mix of text and images, again, you can download as a PDF and I'll show you kind of how that works. So you have all that here, upload your files in here. And then once you're ready to go, you'll click on save. And here you can actually make this available only to you in private. For example, let's say you wanna make you know, you have written down like your life goals, your past, you know, life, your challenges, your future aspirations, what you like and dislike, and all this information about yourself, like I have done, uploading this custom GPT to get custom life advice, then maybe you wanna only make that available to you. 
You can also make available to anyone with a link. And again, I'll be linking in the description section uh, a few that I've created that I think you'll find valuable. And you can go ahead and play around and see how it works. Or you can share it with everyone. And like I said, in the future, this may actually make you eligible to receive revenue sharing uh, if it starts becoming paid and a, percent, you know, a large percentage of users start using your custom GPT. And there you go. But for now, I usually do only me or anyone with a link if you know I wanna share that. And then hit confirm and you're good to go. Once you hit confirm, I'll show you a real example here. They will save in the top left corner of your dashboard. I'm gonna show you here. We have all of these are custom and I'm constantly creating new ones as well. So you can just kind of browse through and see exactly what I'm doing. And again, this is for your specific, you know, personal life and business purposes. So in my case, this is kind of what is, you know, most pertinent to me right now. Right here, this is kind of cool, Tim Ferriss GPT. If you're not familiar, Tim Ferriss is this brilliant kind of guy, entrepreneur, you know, biohacker and all these other things. And I've taken all of his works and put them into one GPT to where it's basically like I'm talking and getting advice from Tim Ferriss himself. You can do the same thing with Warren Buffett for investing advice, get all of Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett's um, summaries and, and data and interviews and put them into one GPT and get real-time investing advice and so on. To show you a real example, let's go over here to the email writing GPT that I've created. Once we're here, we can interact just like we do with ChatGPT here. We can add additional files and just write here and show you behind the scenes. And if you ever wanna edit your own GPT, what you would do is click the dropdown, click on edit GPT. And from here, you see the name, the description, instructions, all of that. And specifically, here is what it looks like in the knowledge base. So what I've done to actually show you is I've gone through and identified the top copywriting books, email bodies and subject lines, you know, high performing, you know, case studies that I found in blog articles on Google, um, top marketing books, and basically went to Google and typed in, you know, for example, this book right here is a little side note. If you want to use ChatGPT for copywriting, this is one of the best books right here, Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards. So I go to Google, type in Copywriting Secrets, Jim Edwards, free PDF download to see if there is one that I can download for free. And I do this with other kind of books. So as you see here, there's a lot here in PDF format. Here is um, a doc that I created with top performing email subject lines. So I literally went to top blog articles on Google, found some amazing subject lines for different purposes, put them into a Google doc and downloaded um, in PDF format and so on and kind of see the list here. And again, this entire list that I have kind of created is here and available for our AI copywriting secrets students um, of our Udemy course, which I'll be linking in the description section as well. So they get kind of full access to all of this as well as all of my custom GPTs. But just to kind of show you like tactically what I do is have all this, I download, okay, those top kind of marketing, copywriting books, knowledge, and upload them here. And again, you can have up to 20 files you can upload. And I'm telling you by using this here, right, which I can interact here, or I can just go back to the default and interact here. I input, you know, all of my information that I want. You know, I need uh, email sequence. You know, what is the best time to send these emails? How many emails should be sent? Please write, you know, viral subject lines, bodies, all of that based on information from the knowledge base, as well as the information that I give about my audience. And the outputs are phenomenal, way, way better, far and above than just using traditional GPT, like if we go here. And again, it's endless to what you can do. It is so, so powerful. And one other example I'll share with you to kind of help with your custom GPT inspiration is I went through some of the top YouTube sort of business and finance related channels and downloaded their most viral videos via a tool called uh, vidIQ. You could also, you know, pay, you know, someone in the Philippines $6 an hour to go through and do the same thing if you don't want to do it yourself. But basically, we have a list of literally some of the most viral business and finance YouTube titles, descriptions, duration, uh, keywords used, number of views and likes, etc. And basically what I've done is take all of this data, import it into this kind of custom GPT here, where is it? We actually have two, viral business. And this automatically writes all of my YouTube titles, gives me thumbnail inspiration, writes my intros, my scripts. Literally this video that you're watching here was brought to you by ChatGPT. Unfortunately, it's unpaid. So I hope you found this immensely valuable and I would love to know which custom GPT would you like to see created? And the one that gets the most likes, I'll actually consider creating it and including it in the description section. Regardless, thank you for watching. Remember, you can get 
full lifetime access to our step-by-step -step AI copywriting secrets course, which will teach you the best way to use AI tools like ChatGPT to create the highest sales generating copy like emails, social media captions, sales scripts, entire blog articles, YouTube titles, scripts, and so much more that'll be linked in the description section along with everything else mentioned in this video. And as always, I seriously appreciate your support. God bless you and your endeavors and look forward to seeing you in the next one.